five things that newly uh, married people can consider or even proud to them marrying. Our experiences uh, with a lot of people who are marrying in our country is that very few are very much informed about what lies ahead and therefore some of the things that we hear are not so good. Okay, I think first of all they should consider their finances. They should look at how much money is coming in from both, both of them and plan accordingly. So if what they are bringing in is not going to be enough, maybe they have to look at what kind of work they can do extra to increase their income. Because by all means, money will be needed to run the family. And unfortunately, if you're running the family, the money just go. It doesn't come in quickly. It doesn't come back quickly like a business. If you're running a business, you, you begin to see profit coming in. But for a family, it takes a long time. The money just go. You, you just waste, use the money on the family. A lot of things you do. So money cannot be ruled out. It's very critical that you, you look at your finances as a couple. Okay, and then uh, the next one will be where they decide to stay. You know, it's it's marriage, so you should think of where you're staying. You know, as as people, a lot of the times people don't plan. They go to uh, get a place somewhere that is very far from every other thing that the life their life mm. uh, uh, would revolve around. So <laughs> they go and take a place very far from even where they work, where they go to church, mm. where their family is, and. Uh, a lot of the times too is, is the men who will want to rent closer to their workplace. Mm. Maybe during the time of renting, the, the women are left out. The women get so much involved with their wedding plans, so they don't actually take time to look at where they are going to stay. So the men decide on the, on the house or the place they are going to stay. And most of the times it's very far from where the woman is, is living or, or where the woman is working. So eventually she may have to stop work and stay at home, which affects their finances too. Mm. So the place of stay should be very critical, I mean, should be considered. Okay. Wow. And mm -hmm. mm. the next one? And the next one is also the impact of your work on the family. Mm. I mean, as we mentioned earlier on, your finances is, should be taken care of. I mean, you should not rule finances out of the marriage. So your work too should, should matter to you. You don't just marry and decide to to stop work. That may affect it. No matter how much your husband is paid or how much your, your husband brings in, you will not be comfortable as a woman asking for everything from your husband. At least you should be able to add value to the family. You should be able to bring something to the family at the early stages. You should make the, the work of your husband very easy by bringing in some kind of income support people trivialize the impact of work on their lives and even money on the family i am of the thinking that in as much as the marriage is important family is important if you have no work it's like having a very nice car you have no money to fuel it mm. the car is useless you see so the work where you get your income from is so critical where you establish some kind of profile or, or influence in society it's that much critical especially for men mm. if it's not if it doesn't have anything to do has no business, no job. He's not. He doesn't have happiness. Very, very few men mm. will be very happy uh, without doing anything. Without doing anything with their life. So the work is that critical. Don't trivialize it uh, just because you want to marry. It's very much important. You take that into into big consideration. Mm. You know, because without it, every other thing may fall apart. <laughs> That's why check check a lot of the cases in the courts and you hear mm -hmm. a lot of the times they revolve around money, work, you know, things like that because mm -hmm. they didn't take those things into consideration. The more you're equipped with information, the better your choices will be and mm -hmm. possibly uh, maybe the outcome will be uh, a bit more. I think people come together to marry so that they can do more. You know, you don't come together to destroy your life. To so settle you, down, you know, as, they, as they, they call it. Settle. I've settled down. <laughs> But, the, but there's more work after that. Yes. Even before, mm. probably you were living alone, you could decide to eat or to not to eat and sleep. But when you marry, things change. Mm. There are lots of things that will need money. Mm. And you can't just decide to stay at home or to settle down. You have to do something to, to help the family, to okay. grow together. All right. The next one will be uh, growth. You have to grow together. You have to grow together means that you have to study, read the same books, uh, you know, stretch your mind, stretch yourselves. 
the more content you develop as a family, the better you're able to uh, fight the, the challenges of life. Mm -hmm. You cannot, it's a new stage of your life. Uh, if you marry, it's just about 10 degrees Celsius if you were to measure the temperature. Uh, if you're single, it's about 10 degrees Celsius. If you're, if you're married, <laughs> it's about 10,000 degrees Celsius. It's mm -hmm. very heavy. You know, you're creating a lot of friction, a lot of pressure. The problems are many. Now it's not just about one person, it's about two people, hospital bills, all kind of things. You know, so uh, you really have to be equipped and develop the content uh, to be able to handle this new stage of your life. It's not just about fun and wedding pictures. This is serious business, mm. you know, and, and, that's, and that's why a lot of them going within a year or two, everything is, uh, because then after the fanfare, after the honeymoon, it's the real life. It's, it's real life and it's real work. And you have, you have a lot of social pressures. So if you, don't, if you don't build your mind, if you don't build the capacity, it will be very difficult for you to have a very joyful, successful, happy mm. marriage. You know, so money plays part. Uh, uh, um, and you, you, you both of you growing. Mm. Uh, one of the things that I think you should know is the difference between men mm. and women. And also, I mean, you have to plan for your children. Mm. Um, you don't have to follow the society, what everybody is saying. Make sure you have enough money saved so that just in case you are pregnant, you, you have enough to take care of yourself and the baby, mm. especially the, the women. Don't just rush into it. Have some money saved to protect yourself. Money is so crucial when you are pregnant, just in case you have any accident or whatever happens. You are unable to have the baby normal and you may need surgery. Do you have enough money for that? Or that, uh, that will be the time you're going to knock on people's door for money. That should be considered. You put certain amounts down, just in case, who knows? If you don't need it, that money can be invested for the child. Okay. So always make sure you have enough money saved before you get pregnant. All right. And how about if you got pregnant before the marriage? <laughs> <laughs> once you marry, you plan. That's nice probably once you, once you marry, then you sit down and plan again. That may help you. Okay. The other thing that I think you may have to grow. When growing up, you will see men, a small boy and small girl, they, they think they are equal, you know. But when you are growing, you see that there, is a, there, there, there are differences between men and women. The aspirations are different, what, the way their minds work, you know, different from each other. The pressures, their strength, different. the strength of a woman is different from the strength of a man. Men are more focused on their work, they want influence, their ego is very high, they want food, they want respect, they want sex. You know, women want to talk, they want to be included, they want to be appreciated, they want affection. And their mind is different, the things that are different. If you see two men talking, they don't talk about work and money. They talk about their family, their children. That's that's the world of a woman, mm. you know. But for the world of a man, he's gay men, the girls that you're chasing, <laughs> you know. So these are basic differences between men and women that you must know if you if you want to grow together and have a very successful, uh, at least if you're not successful, because no marriage is the, is the same. The two people here, like we here, are very much different from any other uh, mm. people who are together. You know, the company is different. And so uh, you may have to deal with different things and under different circumstances, but generically, all of us uh, would have some basic things that we have to deal with. And if mm. you are informed about them, then you will not be shocked when you, when you meet them. Yeah. You know? and, and, and it's mostly very easy when you sit down to talk about all the negative things that happens in your family, which you didn't like. And all the positive things that you will want to continue, you want it to continue in your family. Mm. So you write them down, and you talk about them. You discuss with your husband. For instance, your dad married too, which you didn't like. That's a come out, the pressure, pressure, pressure. <laughs> come out, too, you do come the out, pressure. and complain about <laughs> it. Discuss with your spouse that this is what happened in my family. I didn't like it, and I wouldn't want it to happen here. You talk about, you discuss, and then have a solution to it.